It's well representative, really, the, the state of South Carolina, and as well as some other programs that uh, you know are outside the state. Uh, when we're looking at you know some of the programs, I'm just going to kind of look down at a little list I have here because I don't want to throw people out. But I mean, not to mention, but some of these programs: Chapman Hillcrest, Daniel Greenwood, T.L. Hannah, Dorman, Ainer. I mean, those are all you know BHP, Green C. Floyd's. Lawrence, was, those are all programs that, you know, not only in this area, but, but spread out around the state, just to name a few. Um, and then you start talking about programs, historic programs outside the state. You've got Brookwood, Georgia. You've got Plant High School in Florida, uh, Lakeland High School in, um, in Lakeland, Florida. So those are just some of the areas that, and, and the one thing I think that we've decided that we need to do is we need to continue to recruit kids from, from good programs. We don't have them long enough, and, and especially with this portal thing coming into play now, you don't necessarily know how long you have them. You're really not teaching kids to win. You, you got to kind of have kids that have an idea how to win, so that when they get here, um, and, and especially in a startup, you know things definitely go sideways. Things are are not always uh, cut and dried, and, and we have to improvise and adjust and, and change on the fly at times. And you just need kids that that are used to have an expectation and are, they don't flinch. They're not unnerved when, when something doesn't necessarily unfold the way you thought it might. And uh, so I think that, that targeting some of the programs that we're targeting, and, and, and to be honest with you, we're, we're still kind of in the middle of our recruiting. So I mean, this is a great start for us. Uh, looking forward to having these young men, you know, join our program. And we got quite a bit to do still. So, you know, we're, we're continuing to, again, target programs where we know kids coming from winning programs, kids that will come in here with an expectation. Um, and an expectation is to win. And that's kind of what we, we need. We need kids that expect to win. Uh, kids that, that have an expectation and understand that that's a process. And, and winning isn't just going to occur because we want to. You know, there's a lot of things that got to go into that. So. That's, that's, that's part of where we are right now. And again, we're kind of in the middle of our recruiting process right now, but again, what a, what a great start. I mean, I know last year we didn't have um, as many, quite as many kids on, on signing day. And it's, it's just nice to, to have the, the, the quality of kids, the, 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 the young men that we've got. We've got some awesome young men coming in here uh, with some great stories and some great backgrounds and just looking forward to getting them here on campus. Well, what they're starting, what they're stepping into essentially here at, at Erskine is a program that really the foundation is just built on work. Um, you know, if I go back to the first year, the very first class, those kids, we were practicing in a field on one side of campus, and then they were walking across campus with their uniforms because our football facility wasn't built yet, and they were taking their uniforms back up in their dorm rooms and hanging them up and then taking them down to the washing machine and doing their laundry and doing all that stuff. And, you know, nowadays, we have a football facility built down there, and uh, so some of those things have been have been made much nicer. The, we've progressed nicely um, from from year to year. We make gains in certain things. So, but the thing that hasn't changed is is the work part. Um, we evolve every year here. Things are getting better every year here. We just added someone in our academic support system, which has been a big help to our to our players but they have to work. They have to have a mentality and a mindset that things aren't gonna be given to them. Um, and, 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 and that's not just them, that's just the, the, the dynamics of our program. We don't expect things to be given to us. When we line up on Saturdays, no one's gonna hand us a W. Um, as a matter of fact, most of them are licking their chops, you know, thinking they've got a W, you know, playing a, a first year program. So, so things just don't come necessarily easy for us. And, and I'm okay with that. I mean, I think most of us learn a lot more in adversity than we do in successes, or at least we scrutinize adversity a lot more. And we, and we look at things, we analyze things differently when we lose or when we aren't successful or when we struggle. I, th I think, you know, and I've, I've heard people use the expression, failing your way to the top. Well, you know, hopefully it's not all about failure, but certainly there's setbacks and there's things that you have to work through. I think we deal with those things virtually every day here. I think that the school is continuing to grow. I mean, Erskine's going through a, a huge growth process right now, and, and, and the school is going through a transformation just as our football kids are. 
and, and I don't, and not just our football. I mean, literally everybody here is going through. Whether it's a, a cafeteria or the professors or whoever, it's everyone involved is part of this growth process here at Erskine College, and it's hard work for everybody. I mean, teachers are teaching more players, you know, and and, and that's harder work. I mean, you know, the coaches have have more players that they're dealing with. So I mean, it, it's a it's a process, and it's something that they need to understand that that it's a working mindset and, and, and when things aren't going right, just work, you know, kind of dig deep and, and, and keep pushing. And um, if we can establish that mentality, and I think we're, we're on our way to establishing that mentality, um, when things aren't going the way we want it, just kind of work. And work, you put your nose to the grindstone and work through it. I think we're, we're gonna have a chance to, to kind of get this thing. Um, and, and, and really what we're, all we're trying to do is change the trajectory. Because the trajectory for startup programs is typically not fast. You know, it's a slow moving train and, and, and we're trying to change the trajectory to where maybe we can kind of climb that hill just a little bit faster with, with, with some of the wins and, and some of the things, that, some of the tangible things that you want to see within your program. Um, although it's not necessarily all going to be about the wins, but uh, certainly that's going to be part of it. Really, this is just four more years for these kids to grow up. Most of these kids are, are figuring out what they want to do. Um, in a lot of cases, they're not really sure what they want to do. So there's a, there's a growth process right here. Um, but what we're hoping to do is just to grow them up in Christ, uh, to grow them up as young men, so that when they leave here, they can go on and become leaders in this community. I think I think right now this country is, is lacks leadership in in, in certain. There's people trying to lead, but I mean, we lack quality leadership. And and then essentially becoming, hopefully, you know, husbands and, and, and dads and um, our, our parents. I have a son that just finished foot, playing football at James Madison. And and I have a daughter that was a Division One athlete at, at Central Florida. And I had another daughter that was a, that was a, that played athletes all through high school. And, and all of them will tell you, I'm, I'm very straightforward. I don't. I don't try and tell you something that I can't deliver on. Uh, I don't have, you know, necessarily pie. I have, think I have realistic expectations, but the, the, the things that we are asking of them are basically that they essentially be accountable for their actions and be accountable to, to their teammates and to their coaches and to their school um, and, and really to their families. The thing that I will t also tell them is that you know, the advice that I give them when they come and talk to me about different things is exactly the same advice I would give my kid and my own children. And my kids didn't necessarily like what I was telling them or like what I would say to them, but they knew what I was saying was from, from my heart and what I felt like was the best answer or the best solution at that time. I won't necessarily be the person that's going to tell them what they want to hear. I most certainly will be the person that tells them what they need to hear. But I'll do it with, you know, out of love, and I'll do it with, you know, the right heart. And I think that's really the biggest thing is, is where's your heart? If your heart's right, kids will follow. If they don't think your heart's right, they're not going to follow anyway. So that's kind of where it is, and uh, and hopefully we can continue to uh, to grow this thing. And I think we're trending in the right direction. So hopefully.